New Zealand has declared a national emergency after Cyclone Gabrielle flooded the country's North Island. Thousands of people have been forced from their homes, some even forced to swim for their lives. More than a million people have been affected by what's been described as a once-in-a-generation weather event. Sally Bedolf reports. From the sky, the extent of the damage from Cyclone Gabrielle is clear. Beneath what looks like a giant lake, farmland, homes and livelihoods. Thousands of people have had to flee. Some having to wade to safety. <laughs> Others have had to swim for it through windows as water levels rose with shocking speed. They grabbed anything that would float to escape. Some left stranded, waiting for help on rooftops. Cyclone Gabrielle is the most significant weather event New Zealand has seen this century. The severity and the breadth of the, dam the damage that we are seeing has not been experienced in a generation. This morning we declared a national emergency for only the third time in our history. The cyclone hit New Zealand's North Island overnight on Monday. Both Auckland and Wellington were affected, along with nearly a third of the country's population. The thunder and lightning and everything last night was just horrific. So, But the, the devastation is just, oh, it just makes you, makes you want to cry, to be honest. By daylight, the damage was clear. Landslips, fallen trees and damaged infrastructure. Farmers raced to save livestock and the most vulnerable were brought to safety by whatever means were possible. Getting help in is now the challenge, with roads and railways having disappeared under flood water. In Hawke's Bay on the east coast, a main connecting bridge simply washed away. Oh, watch your feet, mate, them bridges go, watch your feet. So far there have been no reported deaths, but a firefighter is missing after a landslide west of Auckland. Sally Bidolf. ITV News.